What makes Ebor Ebor? It's the rich history, the vibrant culture, and of course, <laughs> those famous Ebor chickens. <laughs> they have grabbed my heart, and I feel like they're a piece of our city. <laughs> For local artist Lynn Rattray, their colors are astounding. They've become a source of inspiration. For me, it's all in the eyes and the body posture. This guy here that I'm painting, he's got his eye on Buckeye. She's painted more than a hundred of these, and she admits she has a few favorites. Oh, I'm in love with the Colonel. Big, white, fluffy, fluffy, awesome chicken. He was there watching carefully as if critiquing her latest work. They all have their friends, they hang out with their mama, and um, they all sort of have a job to do. And that's what I'm trying to capture. <laughs> Ebor's most colorful characters can be traced back more than 100 years to the cigar factory workers, each dip and stroke a nod to their continuing tale. They're uh, like a local treasure to me. I'm helping them tell their story. The rest of that story on full display inside the bunker in Ebor. Until March 4th, it's been up a couple of weeks. You have 63 Ebor chickens. Uh, some of them live over in the park, some of them live out back. All colorful, a bit quirky, and quintessentially Ebor City. I feel like I'm preserving a piece of, of history. See, every time I think I'm finished painting chickens, they're just so adorably cute, I have to paint some more. Again, her work is on display and for sale at the bunker through March 4th. That's on North 19th Street. She also has a website where you can buy those paintings. We'll have a link on our site, fox13news.com. I loved that, Josh. And next time I'm in Ebor, I'm going to keep an eye out for the Definitely, girl. Yeah.